So our next dish is going to be a chocolate mousse, mm -hmm. but it's healthy for you. Oh, divine. It's raw, it's vegan, and it has avocados in it, believe it or not. The avocado is where we get the creaminess, and we just mix mm -hmm. that with cacao and a few other ingredients. So what we start with is an avocado. And what's interesting about avocado is that it has always had a reputation for being an aphrodisiac. And avocado derives from the Spanish word testicle, which is why it comes with the aphrodisiac. You always laughed in class, didn't you? Yeah, just never, never really quite grew up. That's okay, that's okay. It's probably like you on the show. You had a little levity to it all. So basically, you just cut this right down the middle and so, give it, yeah. Sorry, I was going to say, apart from being an aphrodisiac, yeah. avocados are actually really good for us, aren't they? They have a lot of the good fat, monounsaturated, and monounsaturated actually lowers cardiac risk, and polyunsaturated does the same thing. Saturated fat raises it a little bit, not as bad as its reputation. Right. It really gets knocked around a little bit too much. The really bad one is trans fat. Molecularly, it's one molecule away from a plastic, which is why it clogs the veins. In fact, you're kind of embalming yourself slowly. That's not so, good. I'd like to stick... Do you pick that for you? Yes, and show everyone how mm. fun it is to get that out. You just whack it with a knife, pop it out, and then all you do is just scoop this out, like this, and we pop it into your little blender. Any blender will do, the stronger the better. So for people who aren't so keen on vegetables, an avocado is actually a fruit, I think. Aren't you smart? You mm, studied this, didn't I you? Did. You, you know what you're talking about. Yes. It is. It's actually a fruit, the fertility I fruit. We're all supposed to know this from IIM, right? <laughs> I yes, think we all went to the Institute for Integrative <laughs> Nutrition, our nutrition school, which is where we all met. And so we're all pretty much on the same page with superfoods. I just happen to like everything that tastes really good. So now we take our one avocado goes in. Okay. Then you're going to take one cup of almond milk. You can also use hemp milk if you want to get a full spectrum of protein. Or rice milk. Could you use rice milk? Have you ever done that? I haven't used rice milk as long as you get a little bit of uh, a nutty flavor because the okay. almond and the hemp seed will also have a little bit right. of nuttiness. Okay. And these are pitted dates. You want to soak these for about an hour in water so they get nice and soft. Mm. Manjul dates actually taste the best. And so once you soak them, you only want about two thirds of a cup. They look a little bit waterlogged, which is what you want to get the sweetness out. So you just pop those little guys in there. Yeah. Then we're going to take our cacao and mm -hmm. hand that over to me. Okay. And so we're going to take not that much of it, actually, just about a half a cup of pure raw cacao powder, which when you taste it, it's, it's, it's a little rough because there's no it's sugar It's a bit rough, it. right? It's a little rough. Yeah. 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 Thank you. And then we're going to take a little bit of almond butter. Could I have that? Okay. Here we go. There we are. So just a quarter cup, not that much. That's also going to add to our thickness and our creaminess. These are some of my favorite things going in here, Michael. Well, you know what's funny? The raw folks and the vegans have very little to choose from when you compare to omnivores. Right. And this is, this is perfect. I mean, what's funny, I chose this because you can't tell that it's not chocolate mousse. It's, it's amazing. So we just pop that in there. I don't think um, generally people would think about putting avocado with chocolate, would they? I thought it was really strange. Mm -hmm. it's, it's called mock chocolate mousse. But yeah. The, the, the texture comes out so mm. creamy. Mm -hmm. And then some options you can do. If you want to put in a little bit of vanilla, that's one thing you can try. Or not, it doesn't really matter one way or the other. It depends on whether you like vanilla. Madagascar is the strongest and, and the best. Then you can also do a little bit of maple syrup, and there are different grades. Grade A is the amber, the lighter, which is what this is. However, the grade B has more flavor and is cheaper. Oh, is that right? It's just way back in the 1800s, mm -hmm. people thought things that were lighter, like white bread over dark bread, were, right. were better. But actually, if you want the flavor, mm. just get the, the dark maple syrup. So now we're going to use my favorite machine, the Vitamix, which I think is everyone's favorite machine when you go to nutrition school. The motor in here, incredibly strong. This machine would last probably 30, 40 years. It's really industrial strength. And this is your little jammer when you have some uh, harder pieces that kind of allows you to stir it around. So we're going to put it on low, and we just want to mix it up a little bit. It gets a little loud, but it's fast. So, 
this, as you can see, was about took about five seconds to do. So if you care, put your little mm. finger in there and try that one. Mm. Madam? Can I have a spoon? Absolutely, <laughs> you can have a whole spoon. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful mm. thing. Isn't that good? God, mm. that's delicious. You can't tell, you'd never think this was an avocado. You would never think it's an avocado, and it's so yes, chocolatey. Okay, we have some more. Mm. It's very good. And nice and healthy for you. And you can have as much of this as you want. So, your friends will love you. And chocolate's an aphrodisiac too, right? Actually, Montezuma mm. drank 50 cups of chocolate. Co chocolate cocoa every day. Because he had 200 wives. wives. <laughs> he had it's, a lot. It's big love gone wild. It's definitely big love gone wild. So when you have chocolate, it's actually a blood thinner, so it helps with memory. Goodness me, how wonderful. And it's also one of the highest antioxidant foods known to man. As long as you get above 60% cacao, right. and this is 100% cocoa, cocoa powder. Mm -hmm. So it's about as good as it gets. Hey, they use this stuff for money. It was currency. It was currency. It was currency. Mm. I think this could, could be, this, could, I, this could be currency. I could barter too. with social this. Social currency. It could be social <laughs> currency. Well, thanks for joining us today, and we hope you enjoy the recipes, and please go to the grocery store and try them out. They're nice, quick, and easy. Thank you. Fabulous eats and sumptuous treats. There you go. Thank you for joining us, Lisa. Thank you, Michael. Bye-bye.